We're here with three members of Nigeria's 4x4 four four women silver winning quartet. So here we have Omolara Omotosho, Yinka Ajayi and Patience Okoin Judge. Let's start with you Omolara, you took the first leg. How was it like coming back into the Nigerian team and running in the relays? Um, I feel good when I was running. But we are here for the Olympic 4x4 um, four four Olympic qualification and in which we have qualified already for the qualification. So I feel good as in being in the team to run 4x4. Four four. Thanks. Do you know if you guys met the time? Actually, we will. So um, what did you miss, you know, running here again? Do you remember all the things you had missed, you know, not being part of the team, competing at the top level? It's not really easy out of the team and come back to compete because to get a running pattern, the rhythm, you have to, have to work a lot in training. My first competition, I didn't really get my techniques, but now I'm very happy because I'm getting it gradually. And I believe Olympics is the ultimate. So I will be well by then. I know you're still trying to meet the qualifying standard for the 400 meters. What's next for you from here? Um, I think we have Worry Grand Prix, and I believe that I will perform better than before to, for so Olympic qualification. So let's move to you, Regina. You took the second leg of the race. How was it for you? Um, I was um, using that leg to work on some things I need to work on for the Open, and I think I ran that one well, and I feel more confident that when I come to my Open, I can um, perform me the same way. So going against South Africa, did you think it was going to be a tough team? Um, I knew it can be some competition. Um, tough, I, I, I wouldn't say because we don't have our, really our age team out here. So we still have we still have more people back home in Nigeria and back home based in the States to say that come Olympics, we'll be a great team, you know? We can um, actually contend for a medal. Let's talk about your 400. You were in the final. Were you satisfied with your performance in the individual 400? Um, I haven't ran the Open for in like a month prior to that, so I was I really was trying to get the work in because I know in the Olympics it's gonna be rounds. So this was really a get, let's get the work in and let's figure your race out. And I'm thinking um, race after race, I'm figuring it out. So what's next for you from here? Well, I really would love to tell you that answer, but I don't know because we're still in a position where we don't know if we're gonna have trials. We don't know. If we're even going back to Nigeria, we don't know. If we're going back to the States from here, and, you know, and we and we might be flying to the States to come back over here, you know. And that is really stressful to be thinking of before a run. You know, that's actually what I was be trying to figure out. And then I found out the president already and the uh, um, secretary already left the meet. So they're not even here for that. And, and I'm stressing about how I'm going to get back home because we were supposed to get reimbursed that we haven't gotten. So that's that issue. And trying to figure out those sort of things, you know, how does it affect an athlete's mental state of mind ahead of a major competition? It affects it tremendously. I, I don't know anyone that can actually have this state of mind and compete well. And they expect you to get go, do this, and they don't, they don't show the effort back to the athlete, you know? So, I guess just got to pray for the best. So Yinka, let's come to you. You took the third leg. How was it, you know, in your first senior 4x4 four four team? Yeah, it was good. It was very good. I feel good. I feel great. What would you say about the level of competition, you know, with South Africa pushing you? How did it push you to run faster? Yeah, I, I feel great and I, I try my best because when she handed over Betty to me, I said, no, 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 I'm going to run my best. I'm going to, and nobody's going to meet me to when, when I handed over the betting. So I really tried my best. So you're proud of yourself? Yes, I'm very proud of myself. So what's next for you from here? Yeah, I will go back home to train more other because I see got a lot of competition, like the Grand Prix, the Mobi, the World Junior Championship. Patience, you ran the anchor leg, you know, as usual. How was it running against the South African 4x40? The race was good, and I give God the glory for everything. Thank God we have ended the, the 4x4 this evening. I thank God for everything. The race was good. So was the um, competition as tough as 
you expected it to be going against South Africa? Did you think it was going to be this tough? I didn't think that it's going to be this tough, but at the end of it, I saw that it was tough. So we thank God for everything. Would you say that if you had known it was this tough, you might have probably pushed harder? Everything is the same. <laughs> going to a race to run is the same thing. So that's ended, that's ended. Hope to do well in the Olympic Games. Trying to put ourselves together to run very well then. I know a lot of people want to know this. How was it running against Casta Semenya? I know this is your first time of running with her. What was the experience like? This is my first time running with her for the first for the in this competition. She has not been running 400, but this is the first time of me meeting her. Maybe next time I will put more effort so I can prove myself. You know, we used to feel that the 4x4 settled is always for Nigeria, constant. Is this a scary development, you know, with South Africa coming up now? We are not scared of them, this race. And we are going, still going to meet at the Olympic Games. There we'll see what will happen at the end. If South Africa will beat us or we will beat South Africa. Thanks. So, patience, we still believe, you know, as Nigerians, that Nigeria has the best 4x4 team. What do you think can be done to make sure that whatever competition we go for, we actually Africa's best, you know, that will remain number one? It is good for them to bring all the 400 meters together so that we can train together, work together as a team, so that everything will work out good. But right now we are not training as a team, we train in different, different places. That will also affect our performance. They should try to bring us together so that we can work as a team and compete as a team too. Thank you very much, Patience, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you.